Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, and good night. Everybody, this is a this is Christoph speaking. Uh, a lot has changed. I've bleached my whole face. Uh, I got my hair done, uh, did my uh, moustache, and even my eyebrows. And I thought it was going to be a time for the uh, a tutorial of a coat. If you're a beginner, you know, it might be a little bit difficult but don't let that stop you from learning it. There's a lot of finger picking involved, um, but we'll begin with the tuning. So the tuning is, without the capo, is C, G, D, A, which is a bit unusual, D, D. And with the capo on that is a C sharp. This is G sharp. D sharp. C uh, and D sharp again. It makes you sound like this. The song consists of three parts, which is the intro slash uh, verse part, and it's the chorus, and then it's the post chorus with the ooze in it. So we're working as if there was no capo. Uh, so this is the first fret, second fret, third fret, fourth fret, fifth fret, and so forth. Um, so we're just going to start with the intro, the shapes of the chords first, because it's kind of an unusual uh, tuning. Um, I'm just going to get in closer. The first one is loose. Second one, index finger on the second fret on the D, the D string. Yeah. And then the middle finger on the third fret of the G string, okay? You should hear that. Then we go to the third chord, which is... Uh, I've kind of sort of flattened my index finger over the, the two top strings. Sorry, the two top strings on the second fret. And then the um, my pinky on the fourth fret on the D string. So you should hear this. And then you go to the fourth chord is uh, it's again the same with the index finger. You like sort of push them over the two top strings on the fourth fret. And you can use either your ring finger or your pink, whatever you like or even your middle finger, as long as it's on the 5th fret on the D string. One more time, like in slow motion. bit. The first bit is a, l a little bit different but the same chords. So there we go. The coldness stills a bitter heart Cold enough for a shaky start So you hold um, the third chord a little longer. And look the wrong Intro bit and then the uh, and then the verse. So, so the chorus goes. First chord is just the ring finger on the second fret on the D string. Second chord is this one again. It's just the last chorus chord of the verse. Four, four, and five. Push your index finger on the fourth fret and then have your ring finger on the fifth fret. Then the third chord is. This one again. So second, second, fourth fret. Whatever way is comfortable for you. Like you can use your ring finger, you can use your pinky. And then you go up to the seventh fret. So seven, seven, nine. Um, if you can 
see it. So it's on the seventh fret, seventh fret, ninth fret, and then back to the back to the one. Let's go. And then you do that again. And the whole chorus goes. I fell away jumped from the earth. That man I met just disappeared. I tried to find him from another time. That man, the man was all alone. He was all that's left. Course. So that's all the course. Uh, the finger pick picking pattern is the same. Uh, you just use. And I fell away from the Going into the post chorus bit, and then I can play the whole song. You go, He was all that's left of the greatest theft. So that's the first chord, which is again, we know that one already by now, hopefully. And then we go up one whole note, which is the um, sixth, sixth fret. So six, six, seven. And then we go up to the ninth fret. So nine and nine, ten. And back to the two. Two, two, four. Four, four, five. And then back to the six, six, seven. So when this comes round the first time after the first chorus, it goes only up to that. So it goes. And then back to verse two. So at the end of the song, uh, with the outro, uh, this goes round uh, twice, so... And then we go to... twice as well. So it's the this uh, this chord, the first chord chord of the chorus. And this chord, so it's uh, so the two two four. And then at the very end after that you just have the finger on the um, the fourth fret on the D string. So that's, that's, and that's the outro. And that's how you play code. Um, let me know if you have any questions. And so once you've learned the song, you can um, play along in the video below uh, where I've played the, the song in full. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial and um, I enjoy learning this song. Um, it's one of my favorite songs on the, on, on the record. So um, yeah, enjoy.